If you live in Minneapolis or you've seen videos of Minneapolis recently with the trial coming up and happening, you've seen that downtown has been armored to the teeth. There are high rise chain link fences. There are double and triple uh, cement barriers outside of buildings that are basically building a thunderdome around the Hennepin County Government Center and City Hall. Uh, it's also been referred to as the cage uh, by protesters uh, when we look at it. And the idea is what you're seeing is the knee jerk reaction of the mayor and the governor to protect property, uh, to put property over people is essentially what's happening. They don't want their buildings hurt, so they put up, you know, cement barriers and chain link fences. Um, and in addition with that, they're going to be calling in law enforcement from surrounding counties, surrounding cities, National Guard, feds, uh, the sheriff's department. Everybody's going to be in Minneapolis for the trial. Now, the 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 thing that's happening is. They're sending a message, and this is my interpretation of it. You, you will more than likely, you know, put your sentiment in the in the comments below. But the the idea is that what they're communicating is they're they're baiting people into thinking that there's going to be violence, or there's going to be a riot, or there's going to be something crazy. And for them to do that, it's financially, it's showing you that they feel more comfortable armoring downtown than they do creating sustainable housing. They feel more comfortable possibly allotting money to protect a building than they do to provide mutual aid for people and the trauma that everybody's experiencing right now with this trial. And what, it, what, it's, what it's doing is essentially, as I said before, is property over people. And the armoring of it is this really, really, it, it's, it's almost to intimidate folks, at least on my end is what it's, what it's trying to do, it to intimidate folks from even showing up. And then they have signs outside of the barriers saying, you know, no generators, no uh, portable toilets, no uh, this is that and the third. And it's, they're, they're basically trying to police you before they police you, do you know what I'm saying? So they're trying to get into your head before they possibly arrest your body. And with these type of psyops, you can't be duped into the okie doke and think that, oh, okay, well, this is the way this is gonna be. And you can't be duped into walking into an area that's fenced off and armored where people that don't have your greatest interests are in the same cage. Uh, and so really like take a, take a moment to think about why would the city do that? Why would the city put up all, all, of, all of these walls and all of these cement barriers for this trial? Because they know they messed up. They know 1,000% that they did something wrong. And now they're trying to protect the wrong thing that they did. Some people feel the sentiment is that they put up these walls because the city knows that Derek Chauvin's going to get off. Some people say they put up the walls because they, they know that people are going to react in a certain way. The city knows and understands the people's anger and rage. So why wouldn't it just speak to it? Why would you put up walls between yourself and said people that you have publicly executed and been paid for to do it? Why do that? And for y'all, while you're watching this, I want you to think of why would a city build walls and put up barricades when they know that they absolutely did the wrong thing in taking George Floyd's life? Why?